sludge or compost are used on the farm, information is needed about each individual material in order to generate nutrient recommendations for crops receiving the organic amendments. The first step is to add information about the organic material into Newman Pro. Click the Organics icon on the toolbar to open the organics list. If the list is blank, no organic sources have been entered. In this plan, two manures have already been entered. To add a new organic material to the organics list, click the Add button on the right side of the organics box. An empty Edit Organics Item box will appear. Enter identifying information in the source box to help you find this organic item later. This is especially important if there are multiple manures listed for the plan. Then enter the class, type, and status of the organic material. Complete the rest of the box entering bookkeeping and nutrient analysis information. Be sure that the manure analysis information is entered on a wet or as received basis and that the nutrients entered are percent nitrogen, percent ammonium, percent phosphate, and percent potash. If your manure analysis reports data on a dry basis or as percent %P and percent %K, see the help document on the Agricultural Nutrient Management website entitled Converting Nutrient Contents of Waste from a Dry Weight Basis to an As-Received or Wet Weight Basis. After all data have been entered, click Add to Organics List to enter the organic material into the organics list. Clicking Cancel will cause all data in the current Edit Organics item to be discarded. Click OK to save and close the information in the Organics list. Again, clicking Cancel will close the Organics list and discard any changes. To apply a manure to a field and generate nutrient recommendations using that organic amendment, go to the Scenario page of the field that will be receiving the manure. In the upper right-hand corner, click Apply in the Organics box. The organics list will open and you will see the manure information you previously entered. Highlight the manure to be applied to the field. This is where the source identification can be important, particularly if you have multiple sources of the same type of manure, as is the case in this plan. This field will be receiving manure from the manure shed, so you highlight that manure and click apply. It will now show up in the organics box at the top of the scenario page. You must now choose whether the manure will be applied at a preset rate or at a rate that supplies all of the crop's needs for nitrogen, phosphorus based on soil test or potassium based on soil test. To change the basis of the recommendation, click on the drop-down arrow under RecBase and select the basis you wish to use. You can also toggle between nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium based recommendations by clicking on the header on the recommendations page. This plan will be using a preset rate of manure at 8 tons per acre, so we enter that information into the box. On the Recommendations tab, you will now see the nutrients supplied by the organic amendment. Remember to change the amount of time it takes to incorporate the manure to get an accurate recommendation for supplemental nitrogen. If a red X appears on the Recommendation tab for a preset rate, it indicates that the rate selected supplies more nitrogen than is recommended. In this example, wheat planted in the fall with a low fall soil nitrate test, or FSNT, is limited to 30 pounds of plant available nitrogen. To fix this, we can change the recommendation base to an N-based rate, but an application rate of 4 tons of beef manure per acre has historically been below the technological limits of manure spreaders, so is not a feasible rate to recommend. Cover Crop for Water Quality, or Crop Code 51, is another example of such a situation because there are no recommendations for nitrogen on cover crops planted for water quality benefits. Any fertilizer recommendations over and above the nutrients that will be supplied by the manure are populated at the bottom of the recommendations page. Some crops, such as small grains and some grasses, require multiple applications of nutrients to maximize their growth. For example, most hay species have multiple splits that populate in Newman. For these crops, Newman assumes you will be applying the preset rate for each application. If this is not the case and you will only be applying manure once, click the heading for the application you will not be doing to remove it from the recommendations. 
You can always go back to edit a manure source by clicking on the organics icon on the toolbar, highlighting the manure you would like to edit, and clicking Edit. This will bring up the Edit Organics dialog box where you can make necessary changes. When finished, remember to click Add to Organics List and OK to update the information everywhere in the program. You can also remove an organic entry by again clicking on the Organics button and selecting the manure to remove and clicking Remove. You will get a warning message confirming you'd like to remove the item because doing so is not reversible. Click OK to proceed with the removal. Split manure applications occur when manure is applied at different times during the crop's growing cycle, as we saw with the orchard grass field, or when more than one manure is applied to the same field to jointly accommodate the crop's nutrient recommendations. This most often occurs on dairy operations. Split applications may be manually selected by one of two methods. In the first method, add the same manure more than once with the same or different preset rates. Click Apply in the Organics grid on the Scenarios page. Highlight the material in the Organics list and click Apply. Click the Split button on the Organics grid to display the Organics list. Select the same or another material listed and click Apply. This listing will now appear on the Organics grid beneath the first selection. The other method is to add more than one type of manure to the same crop. Click the Apply button in the Organics grid on the Scenario page to display the Organics list. Hold the Control key while highlighting up to three materials with the mouse and click Apply. The highlighted listings will appear in the Organics grid. Using either method, the listings will be linked into an organics package and will be separated from any other listings by a horizontal line. Organics packages are limited to a maximum of three organic materials. Only the first listing in a package will have a recommendation basis selection text box, and this text box will govern the basis for the entire package. Other information for each listing in the package must be completed separately. If a preset rate has been selected, the percentage column will not be used. Simply enter the preset rate for each manure that the farmer intends to use. If a nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium-based plan is selected, the amount column will not be used. By default, the first listing's percentage box in an organics package will show a value of 100, and the remaining listings in the package will show a percentage value of 0. If there are two listings in the organic package, allocate the relative proportions of organic material in the organics package by placing the cursor in the percent text box for the first listing and enter a percentage amount less than 100. The remainder will be automatically deposited into the second listing's percentage text box. If there are three listings in the organics package, place the cursor in the percentage text box of the first and second listings and enter a percentage amount for each. The remainder will be deposited into the third listings percent cell. On the Recommendations tab, after changing the time to incorporation, you can compare the two organic packages for this corn crop.